So this is the Samsung Galaxy A51 5G from Metro by T-Mobile. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the setup process of the device. So as you can see here, we are on the welcome screen. And as you can see here on top, the device is already connected to the 5G uh, services on Metro by T-Mobile. And it says here, let's go. The language that I'm gonna be using, it is English. So now let's tap on this blue arrow. Check out some info to get started. So let's just agree to all and then tap on next. Okay, so here I will be skipping the Wi-Fi connection since I'm already using the 5G uh, network on Metro by T-Mobile. And this phone also supports the five gigahertz band. And if I'm not mistaken, it might also support uh, the Wi-Fi 6, but I'm gonna be verifying that uh, later on. Uh, just to make sure, I'm just gonna get connected to Wi-Fi instead of skipping it. And let's see if it changes to Wi-Fi 6. So this is the name of my Wi-Fi now. Now let's input uh, the password. Okay, so now let's tap on connect. Okay, so we got connected and we just got a regular uh, Wi-Fi icon. So it doesn't have like a little six. So this phone doesn't support uh, the Wi-Fi six. Okay, so now let's uh, tap on connect. I mean on next. Okay, so here it says copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contact, Google account and more. So if you have a previous device uh, that you would like to transfer your information from, you can tap on next. If not, you can just tap on don't copy. I will be doing this uh, later on since this is gonna be my personal device for the next uh, six months. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna tap where it says don't copy. Okay, so here you can go ahead and sign into your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you can just tap where it says create account and then tap either for yourself or for your child. Uh, for this video, I'm just gonna be skipping it. But if you have a Google account, you only have to put your email or your phone number and then tap on next and just follow the instructions so you can uh, sign into your account. Skip account setup, so skip. Google services, so tap on more, and then accept. Protect your phone, prevents others from using this phone without your permission by activating device protection features. So here with this device, you can activate face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin, or password. But I'm gonna be skipping this because I'm gonna be making a separate video showing you how to set up the screen lock on your device and also how to set up uh, the fingerprint. So I'm just gonna be skipping this. Skip protecting uh, your phone. You won't be able to prevent others from using this phone if it is lost or stolen, so skip anyway. So review additional apps. Apps will be downloaded over Wi-Fi. So basically these are some apps that will be pre-installing on the device. Uh, you can go ahead and unselect the ones that you don't want to install. Like for example, I don't need no Spotify. I don't need the Microsoft Outlook. I don't need the Office. I don't need LinkedIn. I don't need the Samsung members. I don't need Samsung Global uh, Goals. I need Smart Things. Samsung Notes is fine. Samsung Health, I don't really use this. Uh, and I need the Galaxy Wearable since I have my Samsung Galaxy um, smartwatch. And then basically I'm just gonna be getting uh, four apps, the Galaxy Wearable, Samsung Calculator, uh, Samsung Notes, and the Smart Things. And then this is the ones that company installed from Google itself that you cannot even uninstall at the meantime. That's gonna be the Google Drive, Google Photos, Google Play Movies and TV, and YouTube Music. So then tap OK. Okay, so here, if you have a Samsung account, you can go ahead and sign in by inputting either the email or phone number and then your password. And then you can just follow uh, the instructions. I'm just gonna be skipping this uh, for the purpose of this video. I have a Samsung account, but I'm gonna be doing it uh, right now. So skip, and then skip. Okay, so we are all done. So just tap where it says uh, finish. Okay, so this is now we are on the home screen on the Samsung Galaxy A51 5G from Metro by T-Mobile. Uh, so now we can take a look at uh, what comes uh, pre-installed with the device. As you can see here, we have the Galaxy Store. We have the Google Play Store, a Google Folder with all the Google apps. Then we have the OneDrive, the Dialer, Messages, Chrome, the Camera. We have the widget here for the weather. Then we have the Metro by T-Mobile folder that comes with the Metro Play mobile hotspot and the network unlock. Then we have the My Metro and also Facebook. If we swipe up, we open the app drawer. And here you can take a closer look on the apps. Okay, there you go. It looks uh, much better here. So the Galaxy Wearable 
in the notes, you can see it is grayed out some of the apps. So those are going to take some time to, uh, so they, while they download on the background. So as you can see here, we have, you know, more apps. And also we get the scan shield from Metro by T-Mobile. So that's basically everything that comes up and install the device. So now let's lower the notification panel. Okay, here we can take a look on the toggles that we have available on the device. So as you can see here, we have the, the Wi-Fi, sound, Bluetooth, auto rotate, airplane mode, flashlight, power mode, mobile hotspot, link to Windows, scan QR code, blue light filter, location, smart view, do not disturb, secure folder, NFC, so always on display, screen recorder, quick share, sync, edge lighting, Dolby Atmos, Samsung Kits, dark mode, big speed routines, focus mode, call and text on all the devices, and Wi-Fi calling. So now let's go into settings to see what software version are we running out of the box. So now let's scroll all the way down. Tap where it says about phone. Okay guys, and so now you can see here we have One UI version 2.1, Android version 10, the base on version ends on GE, and we have the Android security patch level from July 1st, 2020. So that's going to be all for the setup process on the Samsung Galaxy A51 5G from Metro by T-Mobile. So thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please click the like button. You can subscribe to my channel to get more content. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.